I've also started playing and writing music at a very young age. Right. My parents bought a piano, hoping that someone would play, and and, it, and I did. <laughs> um, so did my sister Susan. Right. Um, but it stuck with me. And um, when I was a kid, living in Los Angeles, uh, we used to hang out at the CVS station and watch um, video. They uh, video record. Red Skelton show, Danny Kay show, Carol Burnett show, and I used to right. sit right next to the orchestra oh, and figure that someday excited. that's what I'm going to do. Unfortunately, variety television is not quite what that is, but right. the basic style and the basic skills are still involved. Right. So I was fortunate growing up here and being able to listen to that kind of music. My high school teacher was a man named John Magruder, who uh, played baritone sax with the Don Ellis big band, which was quite well known. He was a studio player. Mm had opportunity to, I started writing arrangements in junior high, so by the time I was in high school I was writing quite a bit, and I was able to study with another famous arranger who I'm going to see on Thursday, uh, Sammy Nestico, oh, who's now in his cool. 90s, and I'm looking forward to seeing him. Wow. And um, so I, I had been writing for quite a while, and I had a few big band arrangements published by a man named Stan Sheldon, who had a publishing company, who knew Mort Lindsay at the Merv Griffin Show and suggested maybe he would play some of my music and, and all of this is like you're still just like 19 years old mm. right i'm about 19 20 at this point wow. yes. so i nice. kind of picked up the <laughs> phone you, you yeah. angelino kids you don't waste yeah. your, you both so with right. the musician with the musician's union book i found Mert, mort Lindsay's number which was listed and wow. called him and said i knew stan and i wrote something and he was gracious enough to let me come down I got the. I joined ASCAP. I was the composer, and Mort was the publisher. So we got every time they played one of my songs, um, I made some money, and Mort made some money, which was great. That's and so he encouraged great. me to keep doing it. And eventually, for it's a much longer story than you have time for now, but an opportunity came where I was hired to be a staff arranger, librarian, multitask person, mm -hmm. which I did for three years in the mid '70s. Wow! So I had a great opportunity to meet a lot of people and write for you know jazz greats like Ray Brown and Herb Ellis, who we know as young yes. son over there. Yes, Mitch and, is a uh, good friend. And uh, it was a wonderful opportunity in that sense. Welcome to the world of Cabarabia, the world where Broadway, jazz, comedy, and pop share the spotlight and a cheap drink minimum with your host, producer-director Clifford Bell, keeping the world safe for live performances in intimate settings on Global Voice Broadcasting.